we can see all pins are free from this side and all pins are free from this side and now we can pull it out very easily it is out now assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh i received one message from one of my friend my viewer he sent me picture that when he removed the ipm most of the time i see damage even it is throw hole or even it is IPM so let's discuss today I will demonstrate how we can remove this IPM because uh, IPM removal, uh, removal is too much hard but we can remove easily so let's start we can use this uh, automatic rework station it will heat up the soldering joint and when we will press this button it will suck all the solder the first method second method if we have this pump sucker it is also from weller I use this too much and if we have this one its soldering bit will heat up the pin first we have to press the balloon and then just only touch the solder on the joint move it in some circular motion and leave this uh, balloon it, it will suck all the solder we can use manual sucker just only we will heat up the joint and we will lock this pump and when it is heat up I will press it and it will suck all the solder in its chamber the next method we can use desoldering braid desoldering wick just only we will heat up like this and we will move it it will suck all the solder in the braid so we will use four methods then there is another method for mercury paste I will recommend never use mercury paste to remove the solder why when we clean it after removing component using mercury paste the mercury fumes remain in the PCB throw holes and when we make resolder the mercury will not allow to make a good contact and after passage of time it will make dry soldering bad connection so that the circuit will damage rapidly in the first step before soldering desoldering soldering we have to clean it but never use oil based cleaner always use 90 grade or 100 grade or you can use separate or you can use alcohol if you want just only separate so that all the rust dust grease should go away clean it using two or three coats so that when we will make desoldering so it will not allow to build oxides so in the first stage I will use this balloon based pump just when you make when you will press it press it away from the PCB because here we can see there is a solder already inside so that if we, it will drop on the PCB it will make short on the PCB so press it like this outside from the PCB put its nozzle at the PCB leave it again leave it put it here leave it just only in one section you can see the pin is clean and it is free just only in one section the pin is free it is moving freely just only when, when we want to desolder apply some amount of solder and push it press it apply some solder so that 
we can see very easily the pin is clear every pin is clear the second method always before desoldering always touch a solder to renew the soldering al already soldering the dust and other things will burn away and the thermal conductivity will good lock desoldering tool desoldering pump and if there is a some amount of solder on the joint apply some amount of solder again resolder it heat it up move it the third method desoldering gun place on the pin rotate it in circular motion The next method is desoldering wick or braid. Apply soldering flux to the pins. Now heat up the soldering iron at about 430 degree. Never apply and never put soldering iron or any desoldering tool for a long time on the pins so that the IC substrate will damage just only move like this and it will suck all the solder on the PCB move a second round now in the inner side give another round from inner side and most of the solder is now in the braid we can see all approximately all the pins are clear now now we have to move the pins one by one we can use we have to free pins if any pin is stuck in the cylinder in the PCB we have to make desoldering again for that pin but now our every pin is free check it carefully if the pin is not clear while removing might be it can break or it can damage the PCB eyelets all the pins are free now just only using your fingertip never apply too much force you can see all pins are free from this side and all pins are free from this side if any pin is stuck or it is taking too much force never push it remove that pin remove that solder from that pin and now we can pull it out very easily it is out now and we can check no eyelet no print is damaged from this side and this side is also neat and clean so friends I hope so this video is good for you if it is good thanks for watching give a thumb up and if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh
so friends i hope so this video is good for you if it is good thanks for watching give a thumb up and if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh